great to see you. Nice to see yeah. you, Kirby. Thanks thank you for, so much for having me. Oh, no, thank yeah. you for coming into the shop. Today. So, uh, you know, I guess we first met back whenever I was passing through Austin with Simon Crompton mm -hmm. oh, Permanent Style. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. uh, a mutual customer of ours introduced us. And ever since that day, I said, if I was going to have a pair of cowboy boots made, that cow, those cowboy boots would be made by Lee Miller, well, Texas tradition. So thank, here we are. Thank, thank you for coming in uh, and choosing, yeah. choosing our boots. And so um, I guess you know today we'll go through. I'll have you measure me, right? And then we'll kind of go through some of your different styles, and we'll okay, we'll pick something. Okay, so, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll measure your feet up, and then go ahead and start yeah. designing. So excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Kirby. Yeah. So this is a Charlie Dunn cactus boot. This was made in 1980. And the man uh, who we made it for went bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And so myself and another bootmaker did all the top work, and it took us two weeks just to do the top work. So you asked me about how long it takes to make a boot. Mm -hmm. So you have a design like this. There's 2,000 knots in, in, this, in this boot. So we had to tie 2,000 knots. And you're doing the, that by hand? Correct, yeah. So, Would so you still do that by hand? Uh, well, we've changed the design, so there's no longer 2,000 knots. Yeah. But it's, it's just brutal. Um, so this is a good example of art, artistry, you know, Charlie Dunn's artistry. Sculpture. And, and how a boot can be beautiful, but very, you know, uh, artistic. Mm -hmm. This is, Charlie was done, was known for his uh, rose design. And this is his pinched rose border. And he first started doing this in 1939. And, and he taught me how to do it. And it was his secret method of how to do these mm -hmm. roses and make them look lifelike. So he taught me how to do it. And he said, Lee, you can teach somebody anything you want, but never teach them how I do my roses. So it's a closely held secret. These boots we made, this is very much a Charlie Dunn boot. Uh, we made these when Charlie Dunn died in 1993. So this was a Charlie Dunn tribute boot. So this has one of his beautiful stitch patterns on it. This is his scroll stitch. This is a boot very much Charlie Dunn would have made. So that we made these in his honor, and everybody who was working here at the time signed them. So they've never left the boot shop. They, we just, they don't fit anybody. We yeah. just made them in a certain size. Yeah, they really turned out. So this is French calf. You've got this beautiful three quarter inch box toe, and you've got a nice, beautiful heel. So it's very much a Charlie Dunn boot. Charlie was famous for his American Eagle. And although this is uh, my version of Charlie Dunn's American Eagle design, it's basically the same thing. So I made these, I think, in 2000. And these are French calf, and they have that beautiful box toe that we talk about with that nice, beautiful slant. Um, and then they've got a, an old tongue pattern from 1940. But this is a Charlie Dunn Eagle. And you see it's got the little stars on the shield. And then this is the same gentleman. This is also 2000. And these are made out of, uh, I believe this is uh, crocodile. And I love fancy stitching. And I love all these historical stitch patterns. And I where love- Where do you find these? I mean, these well, are something- I mean, this is the kind of thing where you just pour through books. Mm -hmm. um, and and you, you look at everything you can see to find old historical designs. And my greatest love is to find them and to bring them back to life. Like these diamonds and the stars. Mm -hmm. I did that in 1985. Okay. And I just kind of dreamed, I, I, I actually kind of dreamed it up and just put it together, but it's a, it's a historical kind of thing. Yeah. This is a Texas wildflower boot we made. And it's got, you know, Indian blanket and a Mexican, this is called the prairie coneflower. People will ask us to do different things and and uh, this is a, an example of how you can take something and it's like a canvas waiting for you to decorate. And you know, we will make a plain boot and these are beautiful um, al alligator boots that we made. So the customer dictates, you know, the heel, the toe, they dictate, you know, how fancy they're gonna be. What are the different toe shapes? I mean, uh, I mean you, can, you can do a, a box toe, which is what, of course, this is a box toe, that's what we call that. And then there's a medium round toe. I believe that this is probably a good example of a medium round. So we have, we have a whole host of toe styles. We have a French toe, much like what you're wearing today on your shoes. Um, we call it a French toe. Yeah, this, um, this toe, it's, it's kind of a small round. Charlie did this. 
This is a medium, small round. But the toes can be quite extreme. Uh, and and this, is, this is an old fashioned toe. Let me grab this. So this is called the pin toe round. You can see how pointed that is. Mm -hmm. And so it's an old fashioned toe. Uh, this is elephant. But you would never see this toe. I mean, it's, it's an old fashioned toe. Um, and Charlie to showed me how to make it. And uh, th th this is something you would have seen a long time ago. And every once in a while, somebody will come in. And this is a good example. This is a plain boot. You know, it's just straight across. No, 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 nothing added to it. This is Heidi McGuire. And you can see her name is in a script going up the side seam. Yeah. So, her boots. yeah. I mean, we do, we do a lot of boots like that. So, so you have something as, as beautiful as fancy stitching. Uh, here, you know, here's fancy stitching with the roses. Initials, we do a lot of initials. Um, this was, see, see, if you notice how the initials are hanging together, and that, that was a Charlie Dunn signature item. We still do it today. So we draw the initial and make sure the customer likes it. This is a pretty pair of boots here. And you see, this is, this is very much a cowboy boot from 1940. See, so the, the iconic toe and heel. It's short, and it's got lots of fancy stitching. So it's a beautiful silhouette. Those are Carlin's. And then we do a lot of, we do a tulip design. There's a tulip design. And this is something that's very old too. Another Charlie Dunn sign? No, this is, this is not Charlie Dunn. This goes back even further. Yeah, even further, yeah. So you'd see that from other bootmakers also. And this pattern is very old. And then Carlin was working with a German customer one day, and they came up with the idea of doing this pattern as a colored with inlay. And so ever since then, we've become known for that, this inlaid tulip design. But this is the kind of stuff that I love, all this artistry. Yeah, so here we have a receded toe, or I, we call it a French toe. You've got some toe cording on the vamp with a flower. And then here's some cording here just to give it some beautiful vertical lines. Uh, so this is a very elegant. Oh aspect. yeah, unbelievable. This is, a, I believe it's a kangaroo top with a smooth ostrich foot portion. We've got a, a, a low shoe heel. We've given a slight pitch to it mm -hmm. to make it look a little bit more, a little Western. So the, yeah, these are beautiful boots. <clears throat> so how does someone select the material that they, I mean, so like in thinking about my boots, uh -huh. you know, I, it's gonna be my first pair of boots. I'd prefer to have something kind of formal and dressy, yeah. probably sticking to black. Okay. I mean, but I don't know. I mean, well, I mean, you can't get any more formal than alligator or crocodile. So that's that's probably in terms of the ultimate statement. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a, it, that is a delicate leather. So you could do something out of kangaroo, um, a black kangaroo boot. It would be very beautiful, very formal, elegant. What about but, like an ostrich, a smooth ostrich? Smooth ostrich, I, th I think, is beautiful. Um, it's ostrich skin is lovely skin. It, it's very soft, very comfortable, very durable. Mm -hmm. So one of the few exotics, or maybe the only exotic, that has all those characteristics. And then if you don't like the quill bumps, the smooth ostrich is a good example. Mm -hmm. And those are those are smooth ostrich. And, that's and I, I personally love smooth ostrich. I think it makes a beautiful boot. So for, for you, Kirby, you could do a smooth ostrich vamp mm -hmm. and maybe a kangaroo top. And then you, could, you just have to ask yourself, do you want to go um, you know, with minimal stitching? Do you like the look of a plain top? Mm -hmm. uh, some of the questions you're going to have to ask yourself is regarding the scallop. Like this is the scallop of the boot. And the deeper the cut, the looser it is on your leg. Uh, the shallower the cut, the dressier it is. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to have to ask yourself, you know, what kind of a scallop do you want? Yeah. Um, and uh, and so that uh, some of it is style and some of it is function. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to we're going to have to discuss toe shape. So I'd probably prefer like a kind of a softer round or almond toe. Okay. Um, we'll look, we'll look at different examples and try and, and narrow it up. And then in terms of heel height, you know, the taller heel, of course, is more stylish but it's a little bit more brutal to wear. Really? So you might want something a little bit lower mm -hmm. uh, with, a, with, a, with a little bit of pitch. Yeah, but still something that's like cowboy. Oh so, yeah. So at what point, I guess I'd talk to Carlin about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll discuss all of yeah. those things. And then, and if it was me, I would do a leather sole yeah, with wooden pegs in the shank. Yep. 
you know, and that would make a great boot. And so if you did smooth ostrich, you, you, could, you could go ahead and leave the four part plain, or you could go ahead and add a wingtip or cording. Probably do cording to keep it, you know, again. Give it a Western flair. Yeah, I mean, I want a yeah. little bit of a, I mean, I want it to be, I want it to represent your work, right? right? So I want it to be identifiable. Okay. Um, and, you know, I'm not trying to have a dress shoe made as a boot. I know. You, know, I I know. Want you, want, you want a cowboy boot. Cowboy yeah. Boot. And we'll steer you in the right direction. You know. Yeah. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining us today here at Texas Traditions. I hope you enjoyed learning about Lee Miller. If you have any questions about what you saw in the video today, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I enjoy getting back to all those questions personally. Uh, most importantly, if you enjoyed the video, let us know. Give us the thumbs up or subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can receive future notifications. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project, and thanks for joining us.